Hi guys, this is Conscience again with another podcast and uh, this time about the new album which is called Second to None. I will go through each track and um, tell this and that uh, what comes to mind about those tracks um, so you got a little more information how it all came together. So let's start with the track Contact Me which was... Um, the idea was Uh, to do an 80s like track and it was just a demo uh, at first and it became better and better and now it is uh, a track of the album. The second track is uh, No Fear which also was the first single and uh, you can hear lots of electronic uh, drumming here and uh, easy doing some backing vocals and um, yeah this track is, is uh, really uh, driving I uh, used my Waldorf microwave again um, to do some of the bass uh, sequence sounds and um, it's it's a bit unusual for me uh, to do something like that but yes it was really fun and I wanted it uh, to be the first single And um, as you may know, there's also a nice lyrics video on YouTube. The third track is uh, Imagine, which is the second single, which is more synth pop like. And um, this uh, came very quickly together as soon as I added um, the lyrics to it. First, it was just, well, a nice demo. and. Um, I added the lyrics and, and suddenly it became um, a potential single, uh, which is now is. I just uh, struggled a bit um, with the drums and changed it several times and um, I hope I, I stopped with the right version in the end. The next track is um, We Know Everything which is actually a leftover from the uh, album Sentient and um, I, I didn't use it um, that time. I just started a project to um, to play around with my Behringer K2 synthesizer which was new and you can hear those uh, sounds in the beginning and um, later throughout the whole song And I also had this um, piano idea, which later became the verse, which um, has an unusual rhythm for the track. And then I had several parts and they didn't fit together. And also, uh, again, like with uh, Imagine, I um, added some lyrics and uh, suddenly everything made sense and everything came together. and. Um, Yeah, it's, it's a complex track uh, in the end, but uh, I really, really like it. And number five is You Decide. Uh, this is also one of those tracks where you, you sit there, you think you might have an idea, you play some notes. Um, this time I, I uh, used a piano sound and uh, suddenly there was the track. I also had some uh, lyrics uh, for that already and it just fit together and as I was uh, finished recording um, that demo um, I just thought oh another piano ballad we already had that what could I do different this time and the idea was um, just to do it a little bit over the top with all that orchestra sounds and those drums uh, coming in later and guitars and whatnot and um, Yeah, I think it's a, it's a nice contrast um, throughout the song and for a ballad it's not really long but it's, it's all there has to be and it was right from the beginning um, how I made it. I just had uh, some trouble mixing it uh, which went through several stages but it's normal for a track like that I guess. Uh, track six, One Big Illusion. Um, 
Yeah, I wanted also to to do some to have some contrast between those uh, calm ambient uh, parts and those uh, driving drums, which uh, came in later. And the first uh, version of this song was not that uh, that complex. I guess it had just two parts, and um, yeah, later on I added some things, um, like I always do, and. Um, so uh, it's how it ended. Track 7 is The Kraus, which also um, starts uh, with ambient-like um, uh, sounds and I added those heavy bass and, and uh, did some, some drums over that and it's, it's like a, a potential next single, I don't know, um, maybe it's too long for that, but um, it's more in that uh, synth-pop direction and again I really liked it as well as I uh, can tell about uh, the track Sky uh, Sky was meant to be a single from uh, from the beginning and now maybe it won't be at all but um, that's the way it, it, it turns out I still like the, the track but uh, it's also uh, went through a lot of changes. I didn't know how to to sing the chorus properly. I added this uh, spoken rap-like uh, part um, behind the normal chorus, and I noticed um, well the track was over in about uh, three minutes, and uh, I, I guess it was not long enough. So I changed uh, some things here and then. And uh, now it's it's not the normal arrangement anymore. I don't know. Maybe it's still a candidate for for a third single. Track number nine is uh, "Some Get Lost," and this is one of those tracks where I um, have uh, some metal elements in it. Um, to be honest, I had Paradise Lost in mind when I I made it. I'm, I'm not singing like uh, like them, and I don't play those guitars. So I uh, got some reinforcements from a friend who did uh, some of the heavy guitars and uh, or most of the guitar work throughout the song in the end. And um, I also mixed it with uh, lots of synth elements. So um, in the end, it, it was uh, it wasn't Paradise Lost at all. Um, those those heavy drums and not a fast track, but it uh, sounded really heavy. And um, I guess uh, I nailed it somehow. And it uh, doesn't sound like a, a copy of a metal act. It's just conscience still. Um, like with uh, some tracks on, on previous albums where I had more guitar elements. And the final track is Into the Future, which could have been a non-album track, but it turned out I liked it so much in the end when, when it was finished that it had to be on the album. But I got some responses to those non-album tracks um, who said, could easily be an in, in, uh, album track as well. There's no um, uh, no less quality or whatever. So there are some nice tracks which are not on the album, which will be uh, with the singles. Well, that's about it. Um, I went through every song, I guess. So. Um, I'm very proud of that album and um, it took a really long time to finish it and thanks to CS for all those uh, feedbacks during um, the mixing stage and um, yeah, hope you like it too. And um, the third single will have uh, two further non-album tracks that far I can tell and hope to hear you soon and that's about it bye